Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we'll be covering for loop and we'll be quickly going over for loop because uh, if you have any previous experience with any programming language, uh, every language has a for loop, right? And you basically use for loop to just loop over a set of values and perform some actions on them, right? So in bash, uh, you would see that suppose you want to create 10 users, right? So you can just uh, loop over the names of the user and create it in, in shell, right? Uh, something similar like when you want to create multiple files so you can just loop over the names of the file and you can create them. Uh, so something similar will do in our script also so uh, I'll quickly give you an example and I'll explain something in that example and then we'll write our script so I can do something like for or basically I'll create a script so we I just uh, I'll create for example dot sh uh, I'll open the shebang and I can do something like for x do and I can do echo dollar x right and done so you can see I have not given any list in this uh, shell script but I just wanted to show you what is the default uh, argument if you don't give any list so I can just should not x right and if I run it like this we'll get no output because obviously we've not given anything so it cannot evaluate x but if you give uh, say Sam and Tam and Ram so you can see it echoes out all the positional parameters so when you don't give a list uh, the default argument for uh, the for loop is the positional parameters all the positional parameters which is basically uh, similar something similar if I do something like for x in uh, dollar at the rate dollar at the rate like something because dollar at the rate represent uh, the positional parameters right so that's how you can loop over the positional parameters uh, one before going to the script I'll probably show something one more example so for is actually a very interesting topic. So I can set my IFS, which is internal field separator to say colon, right? By default, you know, it is space, uh, a tab and new line, right? But I've set it to uh, colon. So now I can, what I can do is for I in dollar path and dollar path, you know, is uh, basically the variable which contains all your power execution basically where the shell looks for all the uh, binary files right I completely missed that so all the binary files so yeah for for i in dollar path I can simply do do and I can just echo out dollar i and done so you can see it will list out all the directories uh, where the shell actually looks for a command to execute right when you execute any commands these are the directories where shell looks for that particular command right all you are basically your execute uh, executing uh, binary all right so that's pretty much it for this now let's uh, quickly write a script and for that uh, i want to show you how you can basically loop over a file right so suppose i'll create a file name dot txt file right and I can give some file names so file 1 file 2 and file 3 so what I'm going to do in my script is so we I create file.sh so what I'm going to do is I am actually going to loop over <coughs> each file name from that particular file uh, bash Right, and I'm going to create that very simple script so what I can do is uh, I can set file name is equal to dollar <coughs> cat file name dot txt right so now my file name variable has all the file names right now I can just simply loop over for say f in dollar file name 
and you can do a lot of uh, tests also uh, before just creating the file right you can check if if dollar five uh, dollar f is set or not right something we did with our conditionals so you can check whether this is empty or not right and then perform certain actions but if for this example i think i'll just uh, do a simple one and i can do do and i'll do just touch uh, dollar f right and i'll be done so that's pretty much it uh, the screen plus x create file.sh and we'll run create file.sh and we did not get any errors so hopefully if i do ls and we did not create any file as well so i think i did something somewhere wrong let's see file name.txt and let's cat out uh, create cat out file name.txt which is fine uh okay so you can see i got this variable name wrong pi <coughs> okay so this should be file name and not fill name all right i hope this should fix it let's run a script again and let's run ls and you can see our files are created right i'll just highlight those so file one file two file three so we just read out a, read them out of a file and then we created this something similar you can do when you want to create say users right so that's or maybe you are reading some text from any file and you want to perform some actions right so it is very helpful in that case all right so that's pretty much it for this video i just wanted to keep it short because for is something most of the even the system engineers who are not into programming are aware of right so i'll just quickly wrap this up and then we'll move on to our next video uh, where i would be covering case right so i hope you like this video please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching